Hello everyone and welcome to our grand empire where once again we are millionaires. That is not so hard. I really thought when we spent well over a million dollars upgrading all of our incubators, I would have major regrets, major regrets because we would have lost all of our money. But actually we are totally fine because our lovely chooks are quite the productive set of ladies, an entire village of them even. And we can come over so each of those gives us like a hundred and 50,000 once it's done and each of these gives us like almost <laughs> over 700,000 <000. laughs> Okay, I do think that we probably want to upgrade everything eventually and remove all of the small huts We'll leave them there for now because we're about to go ahead and hatch some rare eggs So welcome back to our wonderful empire my friends and today. Ooh, I haven't upgraded Let's go ahead and upgrade that perch and this perch I'm not sure maybe it's like heated now and that's how we upgraded it So all of our chooks can just enjoy like sitting on the best of the best perches. Uh, let's go ahead and fill up the food. Is the water all the way upgraded? It is. Can you upgrade the, the chook bath? I think you can. Okay, good. And our little drone just filled that up. Okay, I think pretty much everything is, oh, this is not upgraded. We can go ahead and upgrade that. I just want to come through and like upgrade everything before we start hatching a bunch of eggs today to make sure that our chooks are as happy as they can possibly be. There, we just gave them like an elite slot with their little park. Let's come over and upgrade this park all the way and this one too. I haven't upgraded the sand pit yet. There we go. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I already upgraded that. Did I upgrade this bush back here? I feel like I wanna go through each and every piece to make sure that we have the happiest happy chooks. I think we do. I think we've like upgraded pretty much everything over here. Fantastic. All right, so today, my friends, we are going to try to get a few more of these tiers done. And I wanna to try to focus on getting the pond today by having 25 rare chooks. And I would like to try to fulfill whatever else we can do over here. Maybe even get some golden chooks if we have enough money before oh, um ladies yeah we're actually gonna pass up on the the pumpkin smashing right now because everybody is still like in their hen house and they haven't woken up yet and I like it best when I can watch all of them like rush around oh look everybody's waking up look at them come out oh gosh they're just so cute they're just so precious. But oh, and look at the Grandpa. She's actually flying literally through the building right now. Holy cow. Ladies, you are just getting so much money. You're laying those eggs like no tomorrow. Oh, I guess I guess we can actually start the pumpkin smash whenever we want. What? Well, good morning, ladies. Come on out and smash these pumpkins, my dears. There we go. I'm actually gonna let them mostly do most of it uh, today. Oh, who do we have over here? Somebody is coming to visit the grandpa's house, possibly to ask for some sort of potion to make her eggs even better so that they're even higher quality. Oh, look at them. I love it. I love it when they do this. I love watching them flock together and just chase after things. It just reminds me of those highly aggressive parakeets I saw chasing after that, that cricket that one time. They moved just like that in this little herd on the ground and then there was no more cricket. It just, I, I know that's kind of morbid, but it was just a very striking occasion in my life, okay? But all right, so let's start hatching these eggs because we are gonna need, how many rare eggs? Oh, uh, let's see, hang on. We're gonna need five more rare eggs. That means these three plus two more. Hello, Irene, welcome, welcome to the farm. I'm probably gonna need to put down more food spots soon. <gasps> Elizabeth, I love your colors. You are quite lovely, my dear. A nice little leopard print chook. I don't think we have one of them yet. And then over here, oh, Jewel, my favorite. I love having all of these green chooks in here. She doesn't give a lot to the egg quality, but you know what? Without her, where would the story green eggs and ham be, I ask you? It's important for Jewel and the other rare green chickens to be here. They help that story come true. Oh gosh, look at all my chooks. I really thought it would get kind of chaotic when we started adding so many, but it just makes life even better. It truly does. Oh, and we can actually upgrade the large feeder. Wonderful. I think our happiness is actually maxed out. I think you can only have 125 happiness. <laughs> 
<laughs> I had no idea that was the case. But uh, apparently we maxed out happiness. Let's go ahead and buy another golden egg while we still have that much money. And then our two last rare eggs. There we go. And those two rare eggs are actually going to let us... Oh, look at this egg. These two rare eggs are going to let us finish up and get the pond. And then what else can I work on? Getting 100 chooks would be good. Having five golden chooks might be a good idea. We have two golden chooks already, but I can't remember exactly what they do. Stephanie is one of them. Stephanie, hello, Stephanie. Oh, she's waving to us. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, but what do my golden chooks do again? Uh, those are by name, rarity. Let's go ahead and see legendary. So Michelle and Stephanie are our two golden chooks. She lays an egg. Oh my gosh, Michelle, you are literally a machine. She literally, she enjoys nibbling on berry bushes. She lives in medium coop number one and she provides high quality eggs every second, less than a second, every 0.75, 75th of a second, every third of a second, like, wait, not a third. Every like 75% of a second, she is laying an egg. What? You are literally like a robotic chicken doing that. Oh my gosh, and so is Stephanie. She is laying really high quality eggs like that too. Okay, they do subtract a lot on happiness, um, but if we're actually over, like we're so happy, we literally cannot be happier. Our chooks are so content with their lives, they cannot become happier. So I think we're good. All right, let's hatch these rare eggs. Yes, Cass, another one of these cool fire chooks. I don't have very many of them. And then over here, Kelly, hello, Kelly. Another very elegant chook. And that should finish, boom. Now we have the pond and we have finished all of the tier one missions. <gasps> We're gonna finish the game at this point. Oh, that, that makes me feel conflicted. But all right, let's go ahead and hatch this golden egg. All right, let's get right. <gasps> Tracy, you're so cool looking. Oh my gosh. I love her. Wow. Oh, so many ideas for my chickens in zoo crafting just coming by. I love it. Tracy is amazing. Okay, that's really cool. I want more golden chooks and we just need two more and we can unlock the special gold thing. So can I afford two more? All right, we got one chook there. And then if I'm really lucky, we might be able to afford one more. If we're really, really lucky, we might be able to afford one more golden egg before we have to go today. <gasps> Look at the gigantic chicken dance. Oh, this is the best. We just have this huge chicken dance going on in the middle of the yard. I love that. Look, they're taking turns. This is so cute. <laughs> This really just makes my heart so happy. I love this. I love this. Okay, we can't put the pond there like I was going to because clearly they are all having a good little party. I think we might put the pond down here, kind of towards the entrance then. So water features, pond. A nice pond for your chickens. It provides a little bit of happiness. It provides uh, a little bit of water. Eventually, I want to have the fountain. The fountain is five million dollars. What? Okay, fountain's going to take me a little while to get towards, but a pond up front might be a really nice feature if you ask me. Uh, I think we're about to the point where I want to work on some of the farm essentials, like maybe having another large feeder so that we have enough food for all of our chooks. And maybe we'll put it over here, kind of in the, the town square, basically. And that's all I want to spend our money on for now, because we are trying to save up for that last golden chook. Uh, get out of here, Zubats, honestly. Like, Halloween was last month, like, by far at this point. Y'all need to, like, get out of here. Uh, all right, how much for a golden egg? We have just enough. Okay, we did it, guys. We can have the two golden chooks to finish up the other. Oh, pumpkins. Go, ladies. Go, go, go. Oh, man. Look at our brand new pharaoh chook. She is having a good time of this. Oh, she is ready. She is leading this army of chooks. This is so cute. Go, ladies. Go. I love your new pond, by the way. I might have to put a few of these ponds all around the place. See, and I just, I know that they can handle it, too. Look at them go. 
This is so adorable. I, I want to add so many more things around the little farm that we're building over here. Let's get rid of those pumpkins. There we go. And we got a little bit more money now as a result of all of that, which is great. And now I can tweak where we put, uh, scooch this over just a teensy bit so that everybody can reach the food fine. There we go. All right, tweaked that. Oh, and one of the golden eggs is ready to hatch. Okay, and 52 seconds left on the other one, but we have two final golden eggs. We have the curious chooks coming to see what they're going to be. Are you ready for this? <gasps> we have a cookie chook. We finally have one of the legendary golden, or I guess it's not legendary, but it is a golden cookie chook. Just like the cookie chickens that we have in our zoo crafting series. I am so happy right now because they always remind me of my beloved Chips, my best friend, boyfriend, love of my life, partner through all of our adventures, because he loves cookies. He really does. He loves chocolate chip cookies very much. So every time I see a chocolate chip cookie chicken, I think about him. You're so adorable, Lauren. Welcome. And now we have our final chook of the day about to be ready to hatch. Everybody is trying to go into their their hen houses, but we're having some overcrowding issues, if you ask me. <laughs> so I think, oh my gosh, and somebody just fell out of that roof. I think it may be time to actually get ready, like next time we have a million dollars to sell these two small hen houses because they're just, they're kind of causing crowding problems. <laughs> and to allow our, our chooks to maybe start moving into this big one would be a good idea. In fact, we might do that. Today's the last final day of these cute little houses and we're gonna try to encourage everybody to move in to these big ones because we can get 40,000 eggs stored in here. And right now only 3,000 eggs can be stored. So we're gonna tear down the little houses and have everybody move into the big place. Somebody is already up there and hanging out. Maria, you're on top of things. All right, the final golden egg of the day because I can literally not afford any more. Jane, another one of our robotic chickens. Absolutely happy to have you come join us, Jane. And we actually did get $500,000 from doing that. Not bad, not bad at all. We do wanna have many more chooks. Uh, oh, wow, if we have 10 gold chooks, we get a million dollars. That's pretty nifty. Uh, we do wanna have a lot more chooks. We do wanna upgrade some more buildings at some point. And we wanna to get to 100 chooks and I want to upgrade the farm. Uh, upgrading the farm is $10 million though, so it may take me a few days to wait up for that. However, I think we're gonna do it. Can I actually, we're gonna get rid of it. We're gonna delete this building. Boom. And we're gonna delete this building. Okie dokie. And okie dokie. Space shortage. What do you mean? We have plenty of space. We should have lots of chooks living in here now. We have... Yeah, come on, come on ladies, come move into this house. You you need to get out of here, okay? We have some rebels. They, you cannot delete this building, you won't have enough space without it. I will too. I have lots of space over here, see? We've got ladies living here, we've got ladies living here. Maybe if I upgrade this place? Current chickens, oh, because we have so many chickens living in there. I gotcha now. Let's go ahead and upgrade it a couple more times. Can I upgrade this like once more? 300,000 egg storage is off the charts. We could have 40 chooks in there now. Boom, level five max upgraded. We can have up to 40 chooks, 120 eggs. That means that it is time for this tiny thing to go because it's actually causing us some issues. There we go. And all of my chooks should come out in just a second. There we go. And now their eggs will be stored in there and we can get a ton more money than what we were getting when we had the two small buildings. I do miss the two small buildings though. Maybe I'll put something fun down there as like a little memorial. Maybe a barrel perch. We don't have any barrel perches yet. And that would be kind of fitting. Another hanging cabbage. I would love to see them play with the hanging cabbage a little bit more. Here, we don't have any barrel perches. What does that look like? Hmm. 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 Well, to be honest, I mean, I could see the barrel perch maybe like down at the park more than anything. So I'm gonna put it over here at the park, but I don't really want it up here. 
I kind of I kind of like this being a little bit open because it lets my chooks have a little bit more space to get back and forth. Um, if I was going to put anything here, I think I would actually put the little bath. Where's my little bath? The little chicken bath? I would put another chicken bath and maybe some plants. So we'll put down a couple chicken baths, a couple more, so that eh, we got a little, a little set of them over here. There we go. And then maybe a nice, ooh, we can put down a couple nice trees back here. We don't have any nice trees to kind of help. There we go. Help fill in the land back there. Oh, wagon wheel, that's cute. What else do I have over here that we haven't put down yet? Uh, I think just the little flower beds. And actually a little flower bed on either side of the house sounds like a great idea to convince all of our chooks that it was totally worth it to tear down their original home. It was a hard decision, but we'll become chook millionaires if we can encourage them to go elsewhere. So I don't feel too terrible about it. All right, there we go, ladies. We have our arcade, we have our upgraded park with a new pond. We have got, uh, ooh, I think we actually have enough money. I can get some rare eggs in here too. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy a few rare eggs just cause I can. <laughs> there we go. We've got more rare eggs ready to hatch next time. And we've got the chicken baths being moved around. So I think that this is good. I think that everybody should be having a good time. But all right, if you guys could please toss a wonderful treat to our wonderful chooks for being as amazing as they are by leaving a like. If you have not yet become a chook in our chook empire, do please consider subscribing. Cause I mean, look, you can't even become happier than what life would be like here. You would be at max happiness. And you can even become Tracy if you want to. She's quite a lovely chook. And let me know what you guys think. I am really loving these golden chooks. And I think moving all of them into this house and putting them in the bigger and fully upgraded coops means that we'll start making more money. So we might become mega millionaires and be able to expand very soon. So all right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.